All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about our good old friend XRP, um, bringing you guys yet another update to talk about what's really happening that a lot of people are not paying attention to. So if you guys are enjoying these, um, you know, day to day updates, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button. But now let's get right into it. Before I do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So pretty much the market is seeing massive massive amount of volatility over the course of the last I would say two weeks you know you see the market picking up above 60k and then you know it just makes its way back down even though some you know good CPI uh, indicators today you know some good news coming out uh, despite that fact you did see that initial move towards the upside but you know whales did come and take advantage of the broader market and you're pretty much seeing Bitcoin sitting back at $58,000 so uh, next few hours are very important for the broader market because of course Bitcoin if it were not able to hold a Around this range we could see more downsides so, you know we need to be prepared for that but with that said you know you actually did see Binance US actually talking about XRP speaking about Binance US talking about XRP guys this is massive um, let's face it just a few years back when the original lawsuit did come out you saw all pretty much all the major centralized exchanges coming in delisting XRP off of their platforms if you're if you've been there from that time you guys remember but now the fact that Binance US specifically talking about XRP this really shows you the sentiment even from the bigger players you can see what they said you know uh, it says get a quick scoop on XRP with these facts so it says XRP is the native token of the XRP ledger founded in 2012 by David Schwartz, Jed McKillop, and Arthur Brito. Uh, XRP utilizes a consensus mechanism called the XRP Ledger Consensus Protocol to validate transactions. And XRP is scalable up to 1,500 transactions per second, but can achieve up to tens of thousands of transactions per second. And again, you know, this is a very interesting tweet. And you know, speaking about tweets and you know developments and announcements if you've been following the channel you know there has been a very credible guys credible um you know announcements as well not just like you know, something like this randomly on twitter you're actually seeing credible sources that are backing some of these developments that you know i've been talking about and just that just shows you ripple's um you know way of thinking in what direction they really want to go into and i mean that is beyond bullish in my opinion uh but let's take a closer look and see what is really happening as far as uh, you know the uh spot trade go because I have some good news regarding that so look at this spot traders buying XRP aggressively spot traders appear to be driving XRP's current bullish momentum following the recent bullish reversal XRP is now poised for further upward momentum a key metric to watch in the context is the funding rate which can provide insight into market dynamics especially around specific events or price movements and you can see this for yourself this is what they're basing it off of you know XRP price compared to the funding rate you can see the funding rate represents the cost paid by one side of the market to the other who hold their positions and perpetual future contracts. It's an indicator of market sentiment with positive rates generally signaling bullish sentiment while negative rates suggest bearish sentiment and this is where the exciting part comes into play and again if you've been following the channel this is something i've been talking about you guys know we keep it 100 percent realistic on this channel i don't talk about the crazy price actions you know the crazy price predictions that a lot of people talk about um and um you know we've been noticing we have been noticing not a lot of people are noticing this right now but uh if you understand technical and analysis you're actually seeing the price of xrp holding really strong against the broader market specifically the king of the market which is bitcoin the leading indicator of the entire market if you compare the two you're actually seeing bitcoin um you know i'm sorry xrp holding much better to these bitcoin massive swings and that is where you can get that confirmation in a way that hey you know what you know the price of xrp actually is holding really really good um so you know that's that i'm sure if you guys obviously know how to read technical analysis i'm sorry or do technical analysis that's what i should be saying you can notice that as well so you can see between august 11th and august 15th xrp's funding rate dropped from 0.0005 percent to 0.0003 despite this decrease the xrp price increased by 6.6 percent during the same period 
This divergence suggests that while future traders are becoming more cautious, spot traders are stepping in, potentially laying the groundwork for a strong upward move. And, you know, I kind of understand, you know, the decrease as well in the funding rate. Reason why, number one, look what's happening with Bitcoin. You're seeing massive amounts of swings uh, for BTC. And what does this mean now, you may be asking? You are seeing so much volatility within the price of Bitcoin. These swings can obviously affect your futures platform uh, positions. And again, you know, speaking about futures, if you guys follow my channel, you guys know how I'm totally against futures trading. So if you are a viewer on my channel, I would strongly encourage you guys to stay away. Spot trading is better. And what you're seeing is sophisticated investors are actually, you know, increasing their spot positions rather than futures. Because why? You know, in spot, you actually hold the coins, right? You actually are holding your coins. Meanwhile, you're not borrowing and having a chance of being liquidated while you are doing futures trading and in futures trading when you do see volatile levels like we have been seeing over the course of the last I would say even a month um, you know it could be very risky and you could get burnt out in a snap of a finger and you could literally see 30 seconds later or maybe a day later your position uh, back to where you intended it to go so that's why you're seeing the funding rate decreasing and I think um, you know that is the main catalyst behind this um, but you can see the current market dynamic is bullish for two main reasons. First, a drop in the funding rate indicates that the cost of to maintain long positions is becoming less burdensome, which mitigate or should attract more buyers. Second, the fact that the price is rising despite a lower funding rate suggests that the underlying demand for XRP is strong, possibly driven by positive news and renewed investor confidence. And speaking about renewed investor confidence, we know about that because, of course, you know, the SEC lawsuit, um, you know, we saw the judge come out and say that, you know, uh, Ripple is to pay $125 million to um, you know, SEC. And since then, you know, the overall investor confidence has increased. And on top of that, what you're looking at is developments. And speaking about developments, guys, major, major developments coming out uh, from Ripple. Um, and that really shows you where they see their project really going, especially the XPR, I'm sorry, XRP ledger, what they are pretty much planning and how that would be the future of finance. And a lot of people are starting to see that. And that is, of course, driving more attention attention towards XRP. So speaking about XRP right now, of course, um, you know, you are still seeing the price sitting below the key support level. Um, but you know, that is due to Bitcoin. Look what's happening with BTC. Let's actually give it a refresh live to see what Bitcoin's doing right now. Bitcoin's actually sitting at 52,000, I'm sorry, 58,200. But you know, on the neckline of the support, and I've said this to you guys before, if this support does not hold, we could see a retest down to 56,000. Uh, potentially even a 54k retest could be in play. Um, for Bitcoin and of course that is going to impact XRP but from what we're noticing recently the you know recovery is really really fast and that speaks for itself the level where I have my eyes on and where I potentially think that you know you're going to see that FOMO feeling kick in once again is around the 70 cents and speaking about massive retail interest where it's not there it's just not there right now but and that should tell you um, you know how bullish potentially things could really turn out especially if they announce um, an IPO next year which of course some speculation going around and you know you see more and more bullish announcements coming out and potentially if we start seeing more ETFs uh, talk recurring I think this could be um, you know a huge huge um, next few months for XRP and of course in the future let me know down below what you guys think love each and every one of you guys we'll see you tomorrow in crypto ZX and peace out